Hi, I'm Sandy, and welcome to Life with Sandy. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd, and we have to go to the bank because I have to get some cash. Uh, Jim and I have some running around to do today, so I'll take you with us. Um, our toilet broke yesterday. The handle broke on the toilet, so you got to take the back off and then like flush it by hand. You know, not by hand, using the contraption. I don't like. I know it's clean water, but ooh, no. But enough of that. We have a birthday today. Let me stop up here so I make sure I get the birthday right. It's Lori Pelowski Retzman, R-E-I-T-S-M-A, Retzma. Uh, it's today's Lori's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lori. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday today. Today is Ash Wednesday. I did a menu plan that I'm going to have a breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a snack, a dinner. Um, I don't know that I'm going to eat my snacks because I forgot when I was doing the uh, schedule or the menu that today was Ash Wednesday. So I'm probably just going to have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I might, I don't know how I'm going to do this. We'll see how it goes. It depends on what time I get back with Jim. Um, once again, my theme today is small steps, and I got my inspiration from a pair of socks. My mother was talking to me through a pair of socks. Um, I did buy the Weight Watcher socks. I didn't buy them. I got them from my free gifts, and they are very, very comfortable, and they fit really nice. I don't know how they'll wash up. I'll have to let you know once I throw them in the washer, but uh, I didn't realize when I ordered them, they got little inspirations on them. I showed you them yesterday, and today's was... Um, small steps and uh such a a poignant poignant see yesterday i couldn't think of that word what was the word again hmm can't think of what the word was i couldn't say it ingenuity that was the word i couldn't come up with yesterday ingenuity I tried and tried i struggled i struggled to get that word out yesterday but ingen ingenuity anyway so today I thought that's my theme for today small steps and I think that a lot of my problem is that I keep thinking that I gotta have gigantic losses and I gotta hurry up and get to my destination um, small steps it doesn't matter how long it's taken me it's the fact that I never give up and I know a lot of people say you know what Sandy you've been doing this for like five years now but you know what even when I reach my goal I'm gonna be continuing on doing it so what the hay, as they say. What the hay. So i got to make sure that I uh, stay on track and stay on plan. Take my small little steps because I think the small steps will lead to bigger steps. One of the small steps I'm going to take today is I'm going to go... I'm going to have Jim drive me because I don't drive that far. But it's like 25, half, maybe 25 minutes to a half hour away um, to our fruit market. And when I'm there, I'll try to film it. I might have to do a voiceover on it because they play, I think this is how they get you from filming in there, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, they play music and a lot of times you get copyright infringement. So sometimes I'll edit a video where I've been somewhere and not realize that the uh, out the uh, overhead music has picked it up and then I get copyright and then i got to re-edit it and take it out. So you'll either hear the music or you hear me doing a voiceover, one of the two. But. Uh, it's a beautiful market, but I don't need any fruit or vegetables because I don't need any. But I do need bananas. And um, I, like I said, small steps, I am going to go and buy some fish. I've never, I eat fish when I go out. I have bacon, uh, bacon and eggs. I have fish and chips, which is like baked, uh, which is for, uh, fried fish, rather, 
with lots of coating on it. But when we went out to eat last week, I had a pan-seared piece of cod that was delicious. So I thought, I'm going to take a small step farther and do a baked fish. See how that works. I did, uh, I was texting back and forth with Joan over at Joan's Point of Plate this morning. And I think I might do the coating in hers, but the recipe I found was on Weight Watchers was for, um, with cannoli beans and uh, uh, over greens. So I'm thinking I, I might try that because I love beans. So that'd be my boost of protein too. I know the fish is protein too. So, and then uh, I try not to fast because uh, we saw what happened to me the last time I did that. So I am going to eat. But uh, I'm hoping that when we time it perfectly when we do leave that I will be able to go to get my ashes at 12. But I got a feeling that's not going to work out. So Denise is going with Gary and, and Kylie to the 430 service. So I think I'm going to go with them to the 430 service. Got to find out what they're doing. If not, I'll just drive myself, but it's nicer if I can go. So if I do end up going with them, I'll put them in the video. Because you know what? It's my life. Life with Sandy. So I'll share them with you. Um, I'm going to call Jimmy later on to see if his appliances and all that showed up. I, I meant to show you a little clip of him yesterday when I was visiting, and, and I forgot. But um, he was so upset because his driveway, with this, the snow and the ice melting... It's like for a muddy, muddy, muddy driveway. And when the guy came to deliver the appliances, I think he saw how muddy the driveway was. And just out of sheer laziness, decided he wasn't going to deliver the uh, product. And so then Jimmy did call them and give them a little piece of his mind. And he did tell them, you know what, I spent $5,000 on all these appliances. If you don't want to do it, I'll just cancel the order and go somewhere else. So they've assured him that he's going to have them delivered on Saturday with a different driver so all right well we are here at the bank and we'll see how this goes so I'll be back in a minute well thankfully there was no one behind me because it's a new debit machine and for some reason I couldn't figure out <laughs> duh, how to put my card in the right way if somebody was behind me I would have just drove away because I didn't want to appear ignorant <laughs> But it was it was weird, and then it was like I don't like touch screens, which I know you got to use a touch screen, and it asked way too many questions for me. But got my money now, so that's all that really matters. Okay, the speed limit here is not stopping; it is moving. I know. I think that they can hear me, but um. So anyway, about Jimmy's appliances, so they're supposed to come on Saturday. And I think he's supposed to get his sink today and then the flooring, so he's going to start the floors. I think that he might be in there by Easter. I think that he might be completed by the 31st, like he said. But everybody knows that when you build a house, things go a little bit awry. Um, I just, uh, I think at this point, it seems like everything should be fine. His uh, front door, who he's been waiting anxiously for, has actually been in the warehouse for a couple weeks. The story of Jimmy's life is uh, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the stuff is being delivered, but it's all being delivered to the warehouse, and then he's supposed to be the one that's supposed to know it's there. I would think that they probably sent an email that maybe they just overlooked. I don't know. But, so he's got his uh, door coming. And then he's going to stain it. I don't know why they just didn't have them stain it myself. Because that's going to be a lot of work. But I know, trying to save money. And then, uh, like I said, okay, get right behind me in a 25 mile an hour zone. where I've, oh, I got pulled over here once. Did I ever tell you that? Alyssa was with me. And I was thinking it was still, t I think I was thinking it had gone back up to 35. I was probably going 40. But no, it was still at 25. And I saw him sitting right there. Right there! Right there! And uh, he pulled me over. Because right here is where it goes back up to 35. 
So I could have, I could have done that. He just caught me. Little, it was a speed trap, which I knew about. <laughs> but you know, I thought you're not gonna pull me over. So anyway, I parked over here because I wanted to get out of the way, and uh, they uh, came over on Alyssa's side because I was bringing her to school. I scared the crap out of her. She was th she was thinking we were gonna get arrested. <laughs> I don't know. We're fine. But I got pulled over one time. I was driving down a 25 mile an hour. Ooh, I got a problem with 25 mile an hour streets, I guess. But I, I really do think I was only going 25. And some dog ran across the street and I put my brakes on. And so I had just started back up again. So I know I was not going fast. So it, even if I was going fast for the couple blocks before that, I had stopped to let the dog cross the street. And uh, so then I saw the lights. And so I was waiting because it was just a two-lane street and I uh, a busy street at that. And so I was waiting till I got to the next side street to pull off because I didn't want the policeman to have to be unsafe. And so then he puts the like whoa whoa whoa. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh, this guy is serious. But I was close to the next intersection, so I pulled off into the intersection, and then the guy come the the policeman come over, and. Uh, he says, do you know why I pulled you over? And I, and I really didn't know. I said, no, I, I don't know why. He says, you were going way too fast in the, in the speed zone here. It's only 25. And I go, well, how fast was I going? Trust me, you were going way too fast. He didn't even tell me how fast I was going. I said, well, did you see the dog that I stopped for? I couldn't have been going that fast. I was able to stop for the dog. He said, never mind. So then he's giving me a ticket. He says, plus I'm going to give you a ticket because I had to pursue you. I said, what are you talking about? You had to pursue me. He says, when my lights went on, you should have pulled over right away. And I went, I was trying to think for your safety that I would come to the next stop street and then pull over into the next intersection so you wouldn't have to be out in the dangerous area of the highway there. It wasn't a highway, but I said highway. He says, when you see the lights flashing, you pull over right away. We'll take care of ourselves. You don't need to worry about that. But as it is, I'm giving you a ticket for this. Fine. He says, and if you don't like it, you can go to court. So when I got home and I told my dad that I got the ticket, he said, well, we're going to court. <laughs> I said, okay. So we went to court, and I was explaining everything. And so then the judge did take off the uh, pursuit because he understood what I was saying. He said, well, I'll, I'll dismiss the pursuit, but I'm, I'm staying with the uh, over the speed limit. He, I think he put I was 25 over. There is no way I was going 50 miles an hour. On that. I mean, I know I have a little bit of a heavy foot, but I would know if I was going 50. And if I was going 50, I would have hit the dog. I would have hit the dog. My father stood up, and he started yelling at the judge. And so the judge kept saying, you better be quiet. Just be quiet or you're gonna, I'm going to hold your daughter in contempt. And then I turned around and I said, Dad, I'm just going to pay the ticket. Just let it go. No, that's not fair. You weren't going 50. I trust you. I don't believe him. And then he went, la, 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 with his language. And the, so the judge says, I'm telling you right now, if you don't quiet that man down, I'm assuming he's your father, but if you don't quiet him down, you're going to have a $100 um, disorderly conduct thing. And I turned around and I said, Dad, are you going to pay the $100? Because I surely am not going to pay the $100. I appreciate you trying to defend me, but I'm just going to pay for the ticket. So then my dad begrudgingly stopped yelling. So I didn't get the extra contempt. But So then we left. He says, you shouldn't have had to pay anything. You don't have to pay it. I go, oh, don't, no, Dad, we're going to pay it. This was before I learned when he did our taxes. And he always, because he didn't like, our mayor at the time was Coleman Young. And he didn't like the mayor. And so he always said we didn't have to pay taxes because we didn't work in the city because they had a clause that even if you didn't work in the city, you still had to pay city taxes. So Jim got pulled over one time for a broken tail light, and we didn't real well we did realize, but we just my dad told us to ignore it. So we I listened to my dad, so we ignored the warrant the warrant for our arrest, and Jim was arrested and uh, taken in for ta income tax evasion. So. He went to jail, and then when we had to pay the fine, the bail, we couldn't pay the fine or the bail, because at that time you could only take so much money out of your ATM, and who has that much cash laying around? And uh, so we um, had to wait till the next day. So then when he called, he told my brother Mike, 
He says, well, whatever you do, don't bring Sandra because if she comes in, I'm going to have to pay an additional... F Wait a minute. Have Sandra come in. Have her say really proudly, my dad did my taxes and I know I don't need to pay a fine. I decided not to go. <laughs> so we went to court. We set up a payment plan. We paid way more in interest and penalties than the actual tax would have been. It was like probably triple the amount. We never let my dad do his tax, our taxes again. <laughs> go figure. So, all right, well, I got to go in the house now. So I will talk to you guys probably in the car when we're leaving to go to, uh, excuse me, Lowe's. Well, Jim and I have some running to do. Who dragged all the mud in the house, Jim? Uh, all the way through the house would be you. Yes. But... Jim kept it just in the laundry room, but I wore my shoes all the way through the house. Forgetting that Jimmy's house is not paved yet, it was a little bit muddy. So there was a little bit of a mess for Jim to clean up today. Since he's a custodian, he knows how to handle that kind of stuff, right? And I know how to tell people how to do it. <laughs> Which means that would be me. All right, we're going to go to Lowe's. So next stop, Lowe's. Okay, once again, I was wrong. Wasn't I, Jim? Yeah. First stop is the car wash. I love this part. It's all psychedelic. Look at it. Watch it. It's like the magical mystery tour by the Beatles. First stop, Lowe's. Because what are we getting here? Oh, handle for the toilet. Yeah, our toilet broke during the day yesterday. Well, we got our toilet parts, and I had a long conversation with one of the employees, and Jim got a little annoyed, <laughs> and he says, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> I can talk to anybody. Don't you think, Jim, I can talk to anybody? Mm -hmm. Elsa, he got hit by a car out here. Two cars. Oh. That guy I was talking to, and survived. That's a shame. <laughs> Such a caring soul, isn't he? Okay, now we're at Nino's. Well, I forgot I live in a predominantly Catholic neighborhood. <laughs> and this is, uh, well, especially in this area, there's like two or three Catholic churches in this area. And today's Ash Wednesday. So, Jim was going to try my fish tonight, weren't you, Jim? I was. But they only had enough for one serving because they've already sold out of their cod. They have a lot of the other fish, but I don't know. S starting small, ba small steps, small baby steps and starting with the cod. So, but this is our fruit market here. It, uh, it's not close. But Jim was nice enough to bring me over here to get some fish because it's really the closest fish market to my house too. But anyway, I think we're on our way home now. Okay, a day out is not complete unless we stop at Cabela's and get, look, probably not get, look for primers and bullets. It's a gym thing, I guess, but we'll see. We don't, we're not holding out much hope, are we, Jim? Are you holding out much hope? 
What's that? Are you holding out hope? No. No. It's nice out, but the sky doesn't look like it's nice, but it's beautiful out here today. I'm gonna go for my walk this afternoon. As predicted, no luck. No luck at all. But we checked. Okay, for breakfast, we're going to have some oatmeal, a cup of tea, it's a two-point breakfast. Um, my quote is, success is not the big step in the future, but the small steps you take right now. So it's a zero for my half a cup of uh, oatmeal, that's the dry oatmeal, and a one point for a quarter cup of 2% milk, zero for the tea. Right on schedule. I'm going to add this for a little snack. Stand on schedule. Zero points. Thank you. <laughs> talking with a neighbor. Yes, and now you're talking with me. Who is the originator of this channel? Exactly. If you're new to my channel, because what's I'm the name the of my channel? I'm the OG. The OG. <laughs> what's the name of my channel now, Denise? Let's show you how much she follows me. Life with Sandy. Oh, very good. <laughs> that was a lucky I, guess. No, you didn't think I knew that. I had to think a second, but I yeah. knew it. But I anyways, knew it, I knew it, I knew but it. I talked her into going for a quick little walk around the me? block. Yeah, it's my phone ringing. Oh. But okay, yeah. we gotta get going. Bye, bye. bye. Go well, we got our mile in. Yeah, it's better than nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> she talked me into it. And Denise is gonna pick me up so we can get ashes tonight. Yes. And then uh, come with my family. Yeah, so you'll get to see the rest of the fa family. They're in the opening credits. There so, you go. So they so might as well be a part of my life. There you go. Okay. Bye. Oop, Bye. Wrong truck. Wrong truck. You went to the wrong <laughs> truck. I don't think he wants to give me a ride home. <laughs> Saying, geez, oh, Pete, she doesn't know. I was just going to say about the people don't know how to drive to get out of the parking lot. I don't even know how to get into the <laughs> into the truck. It wasn't so bad. No. I was uh, surprised how many people didn't wear masks. I know. I think maybe us, the three of us plus maybe lady, seven people. If that. And there's ten people in the whole church. And there's, it's a big church. It's a big church. I was, I was surprised I was, all the older people without masks. Yeah, there was a lot of older people without masks. I'd have to sit and wait. There's Kylie. Say hi, Kylie. Hi. And there's Mr. Gary. And me and Denise. I almost got hit twice in the parking lot, and I almost got in somebody else's truck. <laughs> Gary, why do you have a truck that's so familiar looking to other people's? As I was getting to the side of the truck, I thought, there's two doors. I think there should only be one. But then I was wrong. Okay, I changed up my recipe a little bit. Uh, I was going to have the with the beans and that on the greens, but I decided to have a little side salad with uh, some iced tea and a ta two tablespoons of tartar sauce, a tablespoon of ketchup, and some oven-baked french fries let's see what's missing my fish um it didn't look like it was done so i put it back in there for another five minutes i think it said i was supposed to do it for 20 but i think i did it for 15. so it's back in there for another five minutes i like ketchup on my fish and tartar sauce on my fries i'm strange i know but i'm going to use the craft tartar sauce some heinz tomato ketchup and some olive garden dressing i got this little thing at uh Menards actually little anchor thing and it shows I don't know if I can see it It shows ounces and uh, Teaspoons and tablespoons and quarter cups and also tablespoons So uh, I measured out my two tablespoons of my Olive Garden dressing. It is an 11 point dinner I did go with the recipe from Joan at Joan's point and plate. I did some um light mayo with some parmesan cheese on top of it so it's two points on the blue plan which i think is what basically what i'm following three points for my orata fries two points for my tartar sauce one point for my ketchup zero for my tea and salad and three points for my dressing so it's 11 points so i ended up the day with 12. Uh, i don't plan on doing this often but today is ash wednesday and so um therefore i'm trying to keep my points a little bit light today okay there's the fish I don't know. I'm a little hesitant. Well, I'll let you know. I'll be honest. I'm not holding up much hope, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, let me start off by saying I did not have an open mind when I was tasting my fish. 
as you could see by my comments before I had the fish. But oh my goodness, it was delicious. <laughs> I ate every little piece of that fish. Uh, the beginning part of it was a little bit, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't done, I could tell it was kind of a little bit raw and I didn't feel like having sushi. <laughs> so, but uh, would I make it again? Oh, definitely. Definitely I would make it again. And thank you, Joan. I did use your little recipe and it was delicious. I, I shocked myself because I really, when I took my first bite, I thought, you're not going to like this. You're just not going to like this. I loved it. <laughs> it was really good. I do see myself having it again. Okay, I'm going to end the video a little early tonight because Jim should be home from work here pretty soon. And then <clears throat> Wednesday night is our night that we watch everything. Tonight's the finale of Amazing Race. Like I said, I don't have a... I like all the teams, so whoever wins, I'll be happy with. But the two flight attendants are my favorites. That's who I want to win. But I have a feeling... Hmm... I think that the underdog might win, which is uh, the father-daughter, because this is like their third time, and it would make kind of amazing race history if they won. It would be amazing race history if they won, because I don't see that happening. <laughs> but my prediction is going to be that um, Penn and Kim win. That's my prediction, so we'll see. And then we watch all of the Chicago shows, so we're going to watch those. And tomorrow I have an early eye doctor appointment. Oh, Jim's home now. I can just hear him pulling up now. I have an early eye appointment, and then get on with my day tomorrow. So, so but if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.